thank you, Mudasana. Deputy Chairman, sir. On behalf of my party, Patali Makkal Kachi PMK, I rise to support this bill. Sir, in India, till about 100 years ago, women weren't allowed to go out of the houses. Till about 75 years ago, women weren't allowed to vote. Till about 50 years ago, women weren't allowed to go to colleges. Till about 25 years ago, women weren't allowed to go to work. Today, it has all changed. Women are being empowered, but at a very, very slow pace and in very few numbers. Sir, down 25 years, I like to see a situation in India where women are so empowered that men will try to bring in a similar bill in parliament for themselves in this August House. <laughs> Sir, after the 73rd and the 74th constitutional amendment brought in 1992 and 93, we had the first local body elections in 96. During that elections, many of the party cadres had made their wives, their daughters, and their mothers as panchayat presidents or samiti presidents or district zilla parishads thinking that they could control them through proxy. But then I saw after two years, the women acted independently. By the end of their tenure, they did wonderfully well in their positions they held. And some of them got re-elected again and went on to become MLAs and MPs and ministers. So if you give women an opportunity, they definitely will excel in whatever they are doing. So I have two requests to the government. One to kindly bring in the OBC representation in this bill. Either today or at least during the winter session, bring in an amendment so that OBC, are, OBC women are equally represented because they comprise 60% of Indians' population and without the empowerment of OBC women, India can't develop. Second, sir, we have three pillars of democracy, the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. We have fulfilled the demand of the legislature because we have a reservation for women in the local bodies and today we're bringing in for MLAs and MPs. I kindly request the government to bring in reservation for women in the executive as well as the judiciary also. After 75 years post-independence, we still haven't had a woman chief justice of India and there are very few women judges in the High Court and the Supreme Court. We need more women officers in IAS, IPS, IPS, uh, IFS, and different sector. And uh, definitely we need, uh, so the government should bring in and act an amendment, constitutional amendment, so that women are empowered in the executive as well as the judiciary. Sir, please, I would like to continue. end continue. with a saying, if boys get education, only he is educated. But if girls get education, the entire family gets educated. And I would urge upon the government to empower women, respect them, and give them empowerment in all sections of society. And uh, that, is why, that is when India will become a developed country. Thank, Thank you very sir. much. With Thank these words, I support the 128th Constitutional Amendment Bill 2023. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thanks for confining yourself to time. Please.